three shots into half an inch at 100 yards. So I can't ask for anything more than that. Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Ruger American Ranch in 5.56 NATO. Now this rifle, um, you know, here obviously you can use 223 through it. Um, there is some differences between 5.56 NATO and 223. If you want to find out more about it instead of sort of boring you with it here, have a look at my Q&A videos, do a search Aussie Reviews Q&A uh, 5.56 NATO and uh, it'll probably come up there where I compare the two, okay? So first of all, let's uh, just show you all clear here and I'll show you what it comes with. So basically we've got uh, the uh, Ruger manual here and also comes with a 10 round magazine. So the one I got here is a uh, 10 round uh, Magpul magazine. So the great thing about this is that, um, you know, these rifles are ridiculously lightweight. I mean, you know, 6.1 pounds or 2.76 uh, kilos to be exact. So, you know, that's nothing to be carrying around. Overall length, we're looking at 36 inches or about 91 and a half centimetres. So, you know, they really are just such a nice, lightweight, compact rifle that, you know, you can be hiking up hills, um, you know, or just have it as a knockabout um, rifle in the uh, farm ute. Yeah, it's just going to um, take the knocks, be nice and lightweight, and just not really get in the way because it is so compact. So, okay, let's start off with the barrel here. So we've got uh, cold hammerforged steel barrel, uh, just over 16 inches, about uh, 16.12 inches to be exact. We've got a uh, one eight inch twist here for uh, 5.56. So obviously, you know, if you want to shoot like uh, 69 grain, you know, match uh, through this, even though the rifle's not designed for it. Well, you can do that. You could even go up to like 75 grain TAP, see how that shoots through it. At the end, we've got the um, threaded muzzle. So it's half inch by 28 TPI. So that's going to fit a majority of, uh, you know, AR-15 uh, muzzle brake suppressors where you're, you know, able to use them, et cetera, et cetera. So the stock here is the synthetic stock. It's in the uh, flat dark earth. So I really quite like the color of it. It's a little bit different just to having a black synthetic stock. We've got the uh, sling mount at the front. We've got a sling mount um, here at the rear. And we've just got that rubberized kick pad there, which obviously, you know, five, five, six, two to three, you don't really need it, but it does grip well into the shoulder. On the bottom here, I'll just show you this, you know, I like the Ruger logo, how they've got it into the, uh, base of the grip here on the stock, quite like that. Now the one big advantage with this rifle is they've integrated into the system here uh, the capability to take AR-15 magazines. So, you know, it's just fantastic because the uh, magazine release here is pretty much the same position as what it would be on an AR-15. And, you know, naturally the compatibility and the cheapness of AR-15 magazines just opens up a whole, you know, variety of options there for you. Now the trigger here is just that typical Ruger Marksman adjustable trigger. So, you know, we've got that trigger blade. It's almost like a safety there. Like, so if you pull on the trigger without depressing that blade, you know, it won't go off. So um, it's uh, basically adjustable from three to five pounds. This one here is breaking really nice at just on three pounds. So, you know, very happy with that. No need to adjust that whatsoever. Now, uh, the safety is just, hopefully we can get that on camera there for you, is just the tang safety, okay? So uh, basically you've got the red F for fire when it's obviously able to be fired. Pull it back onto safe there. You can still manipulate the action. However, naturally you can't fire. Now the bolt on this is a 70 degree throw. You know, it's built like a tank, this bolt. Uh, we have three locking lugs at the front. Um, Pretty rough. Look, I'll be honest, guys, uh, you know, it's rugged and reliable like um, Ruger's, you know, motto is. So uh, it does the job. It's certainly no high-end uh, European rifle. So on top here, we've got a uh, Picatinny rail that uh, basically comes with the rifle. This is uh, installed at the factory. Just got some El Cheapo um, rings on top, and we've got one of the cheap uh, Vortex Strike Eagle 1 to 6 by 24 optics. So, you know, it, it's something for, you know, basically shooting out to about that 125 yards, which, you know, to me is 
um, really an optimal hunting distance, you know, between that 75 and 125. Six power scope will do that perfectly. And, uh, you know, it keeps everything really lightweight here. So uh, obviously the rifle being Ruger, made in the USA. Price on this, about $1,059 here in Australia. And before, you know, people comment from overseas, like, look, we, we suffer here in Australia. Like, um, you know, the exchange rate is very, um, you know, heavily, um, has a heavy influence on what we pay. So um, yeah, unfortunately, that's the price, $1,059. So it's gone up significantly from where it was when we were on parity with the US dollar. But anyhow, it's still very much a budget rifle. So will it perform? Let's get out on the farm now and see how it goes. Okay guys, let's run you through the ammo we're gonna to use today. So we're gonna start off with the Federal Premium loaded with the 52 grain uh, spear projectiles. Then we'll go to the uh, OSA loaded with the 55 grain uh, Sierra Game King. Now, if you guys remember when I did the original uh, Ruger American, just a standard in 223 review, um, it shot very well with these. So I'm going to be interested to see how it shoots out of the ranch model. Then we've got uh, the Hornady 55 grain VMAX. Then we'll move up to the uh, Federal Premium loaded with the 62 grain Trophy Bonded Tip. And then just for a bit of fun, I thought, let's just try the 69 grain match there from Lapua because obviously we've got the one and eight inch twist, you know, with the rifle and just see how that goes out there at hundred yards. So just three shot groups, guys, at hundred, let's see which performs the best. Okay, so we start off the 52 grain spear from Federal. Looks like we're going to be roughly about an inch here, I'd say. Yeah, probably just on 1.1 inches for three shots. Then we come down to the 55 grain Sierra Game King from OSA. A little bit tighter on that. We're going to be in at an inch. We've got the uh, 55 grain Hornady V Max. Now, that's certainly tightened right up there. We've got three shots into half an inch at 100 yards. So I can't ask for anything more than that. Then we go up to the uh, Federal Premium with the um, 62 grain uh, bonded tip. Bit of spread there. It's blown out to 1.3 inches. Then just for a bit of fun, as I say, we've got the uh, 69 grain Lapua match. I mean, you wouldn't expect really anything less from that. Uh, we've got three shots into half an inch as well. So honestly, I think, uh, you know, if you, I don't know, for some reason wanted to shoot, um, you know, targets with this rifle, well, obviously the 69 grain match there is really good, but just for general shooting, um, look, I'm gonna uh, zero it here for the 55 grain Hornady VMAX. So being a typical AR mag, you know, you can just load, push straight down through the top there without having to, you know, slide them along. So it's just so easy. It's a great um, concept really by Ruger just to take these standard AR-15 mags.
All right, guys, I'll wrap up my final thoughts on the Ruger American Ranch. Now, this rifle honestly performs like any other Ruger American, okay? Um, let's talk about a few things here. The bolt, the action. Yeah, it's rough, like as in rugged, reliable, you know, like Ruger say with their motto. Um, it's certainly no Anschutz or a Seiko rifle, but you're not paying that premium price either. It just works, trust me. Like, you know, to be able to uh, put three rounds into half an inch at 100 there, um, out of a budget rifle that you're just gonna have, you know, slung over your shoulder, hiking up hills, or a knockabout rifle on the farm. Honestly, like I said, what more could you ask for? They just simply work. Um, I've had no issues with any of mine. Um, you know, I've had them in rimfire, I've had them in centerfire, as you know, and, uh, you know, they all just seem to work. Uh, one thing I really like about this model now they've integrated the AR-15 magazine into the system here is once you fire that last round you can't push the bolt forward so that's great like because when I was shooting at those targets like yeah like not all the time you're counting your shots so you know you go oh geez okay mag empty the uh, mag release here is right where the AR-15 mag release is so great muscle memory straight off for the mag on with a fresh one and then you'll be able to move that bolt forward and uh, get back in the uh, hunt there so you know i really do like that uh, system that they've come up with um, as for uh, dislikes i really have none guys because what is there not to like about it it's that compact look at it i mean <laughs> just look at this and uh, lightweight you know you can just carry it around all day you're not going to be weighed down and then when you need to uh you know take some shots there you've got decent accuracy there at 100 yards so i don't know what more you could want all right guys we'll leave it at that hope you enjoyed watching the review so till next time we'll catch you then